Let's talk about Harry Potter. Been following this for the past couple of weeks. J.K. Rowling, man, people, people over on Twitter, they they have some things to say when her name comes up. I'll show you some of those screenshots again for for those that have missed that. But I think the funniest thing was when Hogwarts Legacy was announced. I did a video on that. You should go check it out if you haven't seen it. But people people are mad. Oh, we got this game coming out. It looks good, but J.K. Rowling. So much so that they sent her a bunch of nasty messages because they didn't like the game. And then the developer comes out and says, Yeah, we're not really working with her. I can show you that screenshot. You've got, you've got like this one saying, Oh, she's not involved in the new Harry Potter game. But then you find out that she's still going to be making money off of it, and they didn't like that either. I think the game is going to be a smashing success because at the end of the day, people that complain about stuff on Twitter are just a few thousand people that don't really buy anything. And that's why I've always found it funny that companies kowtow to them and bend the knee because they don't consume anything. All they do is destroy. So it just it's never made any sense to me, but it is a thing. Just like how people are burning their own Harry Potter books and putting on social media, which I kind I find kind of funny. It won't really change anything. But I do think it's quite hilarious to watch. And there's quite a few of them. Anyway, check this out. Here's these again. So Data Racer 117 who always does a fantastic job with this stuff. You can see all of these threats that people send J.K. Rowling, and they're quite nasty. And it's funny that none of these outlets cover this. Like, why is this okay? They're they're okay with it. They let this happen. And then there's also this, the ones that came out for the Hogwarts game. You can look at this stuff. It's pretty ridiculous. But here's something that's even more ridiculous, okay? You have an Australian bookshop, and they're not going to stock any more J.K. Rowling novels, including Harry Potter, in order to create a safer space. So if you go in there and you want to buy a Harry Potter book, well, you're not going to be able to buy it. Go away, sir. Which is so ridiculous. And and you know what's even more ridiculous is that she's being blasted for her opinion, which I don't even think is that crazy, which is basically, hey, you know, when you include all these groups in with women, it devalues what a woman is. Like, you know, women do go through some things that others don't. And it is devalued in some of these cases. She doesn't have that crazy of an opinion. And and keep in mind, she's a super NPC. NPC Puritan to the core. Well, I guess not to the core. She's not good enough for some of them. So now you've got this Australian bookshop. They're, got, they're not going to stock books. I, I, I doubt this will bring any more money into them. And let's face it, most people probably already have these books anyway. These books are mega sellers. That's another thing about J.K. Rowling that's funny is she she sticks to this issue. She's got FU money, so she doesn't have to change her mind, and her books will still sell. I know some people that have already bought her new book that everyone's that everyone's mad about. But you've got this store here, and they say they're not going to stock it. On September 16th, Perth-based bookshop Rabble Books and Games published a statement on their social media pages informing their customers that in an effort to make Rabble a safer space by trying not to put books by phobes on the shelves. The store would no longer stock new J.K. Rowling books or keep uh, her pen name. She has a pen name name under a dude's name. I don't know why she does that. I think I think to say her books would sell if it didn't have her name. I don't I don't know the point of that, but I guess you know a lot of people do that. What Tupac did that on her Machiavelli once for people that remember that. So they're not going to stock her books anymore to make a statement. I just find that really stupid. And it's not just, you know, this seems to be a thing among among bookstores. Comic book shops do this a lot too. It's almost like these people don't understand like customer demand or business. I, I don't get it. I just think this is all ridiculous. Just because she thinks that's, that women have genuine issues that apply to them. And it's not that crazy of an opinion, <laughs> to be honest. She's got crazier opinions in my mind, but you know, she wanted this audience. Well, (laughs) she got it. I almost wonder if this is ever going to end for her. I don't think it will. I think uh, these people are always going to be going after her. It's a fallen hero for them. It's a fallen hero for them. But yeah, 
Uh, they, they go on to say that they're going to take these off the shelves because they want to put the focus on, on different books that deserve propped up. You know, we got to get the, get those special groups out there and put those on the shelves because those are more inclusive and diverse and all this nonsense. This store will probably go out of business. I would imagine they're, they're not going to make it through the coof probably because they were never really bringing in much money, just like, like a lot of comic book shops. You know, they seem to put the message over the money and that's not really how you run a small business. This is probably a small business and they're they're This is the way that they run it. I just don't see it working out for them. Anyway, uh, just a just a quick video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, should they stock the book? Should they be allowed to go out of business? I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you think about the whole Harry Potter thing? What do you think about the whole J.K. Rowling thing? Give me your thoughts on this, guys. Also, if you would, please like and share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.